We're rolling. Okay. So to get the potato to sit flat on the uh, baking sheet, just cut off the bottom. Usually, I choose the, the side that's uh, convex, just so it, that would be the side that it rolls. And what you can do, and I, at first I used to do this. You, you, you want to cut it in somewhat thin slices, about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch, and go almost all the way through, but not quite. So what I found is, and it depends on how big your cutting boards are, but you can put it between two cutting boards, and then you just mm. cut through. Is that not clever? Clever, clever, clever. Oh. clever. Yes. And it, I mean, it works. These are about <laughs> probably half inch, quarter inch cutting boards. If you have like eighth inch, it's very thin, like a plastic one, that works even better. Although sometimes you go all the way through with those. But the thing is, the the further you go through, uh, the more the the slices kind of spread apart. Oh, cool! And so what you do is you just put on a baking sheet, um, olive oil. Okay. Just olive oil or, or butter. Um, or both. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> bacon fat, maybe? Or, you know, any kind of oil. And, I mean, ideally, you'd probably want to try to get it in into the slots a little bit, but I'm not going to take the time to do all of them. Uh, salt. salt. Okay. Um, all the seasonings are. You want shaker? Yeah. We have kosher in the, in the uh, and we cabinet. we also have kosher. Uh, yeah, no, this is salt. Salt. Yes. Um, salt, and then, you know, if, if you want to try to spread them apart a little bit as you're doing it. Um, and then you can put in whatever kind of seasonings you want. Sometimes, you know, sweet potatoes are good with cinnamon and nutmeg. Mm -hmm. uh, Sometimes. <laughs> If you're doing uh, white potatoes, you can put you can slice up garlic real thin and put a slice of garlic in between. So uh, if if you're taking the time to really prepare this a lot a lot more time, if I'm not standing in front of you, <laughs> taking the time to do it, um, you can you can come up with all kinds of combinations of, of spices and 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 cram you know regularly cram some dill or thyme in between each of them or whatever you want to do. I think you should put cinnamon. So, how long do you bake these at what temperature? These are going to go in at 400 for right around between 45 minutes. Yeah. Between 45 minutes and an hour at 400. And it's, it's just kind of uh, however long you check on them. <laughs> So four, 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 four uh, I got it on four hundred. That's, okay. that's kind of my default potato. <laughs> yeah, if you you can you can do it at three. Those are those are big. Yeah, so. that's the thing. At three fifty, it'll take much longer, and they don't usually crisp as well. Do you grill them at the very end sometimes? Um, if if I get to the end and they're relatively soft but not crispy at all, I'll stick them under the broiler for two to three minutes. I mean, it depends on your broiler. So my broiler is very hot, so. So it um, still takes about 45 minutes to an hour. It's about the same. It's, yeah, it's like about that? the same amount of time as a regular. If you're okay. just sort of throwing a baked potato, about the same amount of time. It okay. just it just gets crispy on each side. Okay. So. Um, you're, you're in the bottom. And that's the middle. Is that okay? Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> 